dollar bill, which is the uh, now devalued dollar bill. And on the back of the dollar bill, there's a seal on this side. It's called the Great Seal of the United States. That's what it's called. It's their seal. Now behind the seal, this is actually what is behind the Great Seal of the United States, is a pyramid with one eye. Now the one eye is the sun god, Ray, which is where we get the word Ray, sun rays. It is the sun god, same Mithraic character, and he shows up again and again. This is the Masonic god of the, the Ray. Thirteen five-pointed stars, and when you draw lines between them, you'll draw a six-pointed star. If the hexagonal star is lifted out and placed over the image of the pyramid, its points indicate specific letters in the Latin inscription surrounding it, which are thought to be an anagram. Inside the American Dictionary is the word anagram, which is the intentional scrambling of the letters of a word to conceal the real word. So if you re-scramble, you get Masons. This is how we know that the Masons originated the drawings for the Great Seal of the United States. This search for concealed meanings in the iconography is not confined to the imagery alone. It is claimed that the number 13, the most ominous number in Western tradition, is hidden throughout the symbols on the one dollar bill. They point out the repetition of the symbolic number 13. There are 13 leaves on the olive branch in the eagle's right claw. 13 arrows in the left claw. 13 stars above the eagle's head and 13 bars and stripes on the shield. Count the feathers. You'll notice that there are 32 feathers on the bird's left wing and 33 on his right wing. This is understood to refer to the 33 degrees of masonry introduced by the Supreme Council of the Scottish Rite, America's most prominent Masonic order, whose national HQ is in Washington. If you look, you'll see the pyramid is built except for the top. It's built except for the top. The eye is suspended above the top. It hasn't come down yet. Because they believe until they finished the Masonic project, which is the, the, what they say on the bottom, Novus Ordo Seclorum, and then Annuetta Chapters, he is pleased with our project. In other words, the God they believe in is pleased with our project. What is the project? This is the question. What is the project that this God is pleased with? The project is literally the secularization of the world. To completely strip the world from religious beliefs. This is the project. And that is why it is called Novus Ordo Seclorum. A new secular or worldly order.